This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. We all know that childhood song. It's one of my favorites. That song is such a reminder that we all have this beautiful light placed within us at birth, maybe even before birth, and that that light shows up differently and uniquely in all of us. One of the things that I've found is that over time, particularly in childhood, but even into adulthood, we pick up all these half-truths, misinterpretations of life events and circumstances, and we start to let that light get dimmed a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And the more we believe the lies, the more we fall for the egoic voices in our head, the dimmer that light becomes. It might be very bright at its core, but we let all these layers of junk form around it. So my question to you today is, how do you hide your light from the world? Throughout my life, there have been so many things that I love, that I'm passionate about, that are gifts of mine, that out of fear of ridicule or being misunderstood or being made fun of, that I just hid. For example, as a kid, I was extremely self-conscious about my voice. Could not stand to hear my voice in a recording. I remember one time there was a school Christmas concert and I was Santa Claus and I had to sing a solo. And this was back in the days of VHS camcorders. My dad recorded it. And when we went to visit family for Christmas, they wanted to play it for the family. And I ran screaming from the room, had to go find pillows to stuff over my head so I couldn't hear my voice on the recording. There are other things. As a older child and teenager, I loved plants, landscaping, nursery, gardening, all things having to do with plants and landscaping. And yet I was afraid I'd be made fun of for that. So I kind of kept that to myself. Only my family knew that I was super passionate about plants. As an adult, I love to make chocolate. I'm going to hold it so it doesn't slide off the plate. But I make homemade chocolate. And when I make chocolate, I make it with love and intention. And either I sing to it or I put beautiful energy into it with my intention. But yet, there have been times I thought, oh, that's a silly skill set. It doesn't matter. As I found, kind of on the voice side, I love to do guided meditation. As a kid, I thought my voice sounded like Ernie from Sesame Street. Very cartoonish, and I was very embarrassed. Now I embrace the uniqueness of my voice. I embrace that when given the opportunity, I can help people find peace within themselves with my voice, with a little gentle guidance. So what about you? Have you been hiding? How have you let your light be covered up? How have you let egoic pressure cause you to implode upon yourself instead of being excited with effusive pressure to let your light shine outward? There's a difference. A balloon that is deflating starts to sink in. But when you first inflate a balloon, you're putting an outward pressure on it. And that balloon will keep expanding and expanding. We can do the same thing with our energy field. We can either let ourselves be shrunk down or we can be expansive, take up space. So my challenge to you today, we're gonna to do a little short meditation about this, is how, first of all, are you hiding your light from the world? And second, how can you start to release those layers of egoic pressure to start to be effusive? take up space, have your energy pushing outward instead of all the lies and all the pressure making you shrink down and hide. I just want to invite you to get comfortable and close your eyes. Let's take a reset breath, deep breath in through your nose, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears, exhale, sigh it out, release the shoulder blades down your back. I invite you to bring your awareness right into the center of your heart. Breathe in to the center of your heart for a count of three. One, two, three. Slow exhale through the nose for three. One, two, three. There's a bright, bright, bright light that comes from the center of your heart. It's always been there. And there are unique ways that that light is meant to outwardly manifest from you, through you, to the world. 
I'm going to ask that with the guidance of your heart and soul, you start to become consciously aware of some of those unique gifts, talents, abilities, passions that you've been sitting on or ashamed of or hiding. Take a moment to feel how you've been hiding that light from the world. How you've allowed yourself to implode and shrink your energy down. And then with the guidance of your heart and soul, I'm going to ask that you become consciously aware of how you're meant to push past those barriers and become expansive and have your energy effusively radiating outwards. Breathe into that. How are you meant to take up more energetic space, be seen, be heard, shine brighter? When you're ready, I invite you to open your eyes. I want to encourage you to, at a minimum, jot down some bullet point reflections on how you've been hiding your light and how you're meant to shine it brighter. Maybe even write out some paragraphs about it. But writing it down is the first step to starting to make it real and manifest into change, positive change. I also want to give you a couple of tools you can work with. Spearmint is amazing energetically for the throat chakra. Of course, you can drink spearmint tea. It's great for your throat and sore throats and all that. But it's actually energetically great for the throat chakra, our energy center of communication and expression. So a little spearmint in your life, spearmint tea, spearmint essential oil, something like that. It's going to be very beneficial to helping you get beyond those blocks. Get out there, share, be. The other thing that's helpful Here's a stone called Larimar, great stone for throat chakra expression communication. Also turquoise, even aquamarine. I love sharing this with you today. I hope that you are starting to feel ready to take up a little more space, become expansive and let your light be radiant out instead of letting all that negativity and outward pressure shrink you down. Let me know if I can be of any service to you Blessings.